few holes, so we have our early walk power bike that we made. You can see that in an earlier video. But we have the LEDs are far away from the surface, so we cannot really see the indication. And I made some holes that just temporarily, but uh, this time we're going to try and uh, do an upgrade. If it's uh, going to work, then we'll uh, continue with that. So I'm going to change this top color, but for later on, we're just going to make other versions where uh, the indication LEDs are integrated into the bottom half of the main box. So yeah, I just want this here. Okay, so here's what we have inside. So the LEDs are here. So ideally you would want to have the LEDs either here, next to the port, or somewhere here. But also like, uh, what I thought of doing like, uh, for this time, I wanted just to modify the cover. So let me show you the cover that I made. Okay, that is the new cover here. And you can see there's no difference from here. But you flip it here and you have some holes here. I'm just hoping that when I put the LEDs inside here, like so, it will be visible from the other side because it is visible because it's white, white PLA. So that's the aim. But first, we need to test these LEDs with the existing ones. And then we're gonna need to remove the existing ones as well. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'll probably just remove the board from its housing and then test the LEDs in parallel with the existing one and then I'll make some wires and extend the LEDs from the cover to the to the board itself and remove the old LEDs. Okay, so we found some uh, connectors here. We found this one. It fits perfectly onto this connection here. She's great. So we're just going to remove this one and solder some wires to it from this side and then we're going to connect them this way. This will go to the LEDs and this will go to the module. So it has, like incredibly, it has eight wires I believe, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. So eight wires in total. Which is perfect for our four LEDs here, which are two pins, or two legs. Uh, we're just gonna now dissolve the connector, hopefully, with no damage. These connectors are sensitive to heat, they're plastic and all. Okay, so we've made this, uh, this kind of connectors here with some wires can disconnect like that. We have this side which will go to the LEDs like that. And then we have this side which will go to the which will solder to this module here on the LED sides. And that will be it basically. And then we'll connect both together and we'll have indication on uh, visible to the user. And we're just gonna add some hot glue in here to give this place here some insulation and uh, also make it stronger. Okay, everyone, so uh, we have connected the LEDs to the first connection just like that. And now we move on to connect this one to the module. Okay, that was straightforward. Nice. Now we just need to solder these wires here. And it seems that the places are pretty small. We'll take this one right here. Let's add some flux. Really nice stuff. Okay. 
Juice juice because it won't get, get hot. There we go. Yeah, just a bit short. Yeah, just a bit short. I'm going to have some slack. There we go. We'll get closer. Okay. Close that. Good here. Should be the same. I'm going to have this train on the back. That's okay. So much better. Okay, done. Let's see if we can do any touch-ups. I think, yeah, I'm going to do this one here. Let's try this one here. Let's go. Oh, this guy. Oh, then it's always good to not overdo things. Better system intact, and I believe. Okay, settings and facts. It's all done. Okay, turn the tip, and then do a little touch on the Then, same, again, the next one. Okay, I think it's alright. I'm gonna add in some hot glue later on. Let's see. Alright. Now we're going to test this stuff here. We have our module here, we have the connector. We have the other side for the cover. And... You can just connect them like that, I believe. Yep. We have our LEDs. Let's hope they show up from here. They don't. Well, it is, but it's pretty dim. Let me make some. I hope you can see that. Yeah, it works. It's just it's a little bit dim. Probably with these LEDs are do need a lot more current than the those SMD ones. But the concept works, and then we still can push them a bit into the cover because the hole is still like large enough, and then it will show up. But I like also this like a it's kind of dim. Kinda like it uh, has a shadow or something. Okay, everyone. So we have added some hot glue on here. Of course, we already did this one. And also on the LED side, in order to make it a little bit strong. And we bent the legs, the legs as well, so we can have some room between the LEDs, the cover, and the whole module in here. So now we're gonna put the model back in in its place and uh, screw it back in. Uh, hopefully this will not. Interfere. Uh, okay. You see, yeah, it's a bit tight in there, but it's okay. Look, okay, the model is back in. Okay, well, you can look around here, come from this side, or, but we have plenty of room here. So, put back the screws for the model. There you go. Another one. Let's drop the connector first. I need to have the connector. Two units. Carved. No, it's okay. And release. That's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Nice. Nice. Come on. I'm making sure to use. So now this can uh, just stay in here and we can loop it around the model here and so we can do that. There you go. And then you can see right there. So we can now put the cover back in and the wires. I hope it's not too tight. Uh, it seems a little bit tight. Maybe we can bring the model and let it let it sit sit freely yeah just like that and I think like that is okay is it or maybe maybe we can do something like this this sit on top of the model but you can risk some shorts or something like that yeah so that fits perfectly let's try again the to plug in the Power cable. Oh, it's fairly dim. Yeah, I can see it, but it's not visible unless it's a bit dark. So you can see right there. On the camera, it shows like both are flashing, but it's only actually it's only the second when that is flashing, and then with with the state of charge, it will be four LEDs. 
so this is a it's not a perfect version but it's better than uh, having like some made up holes with the drill or or the LEDs are far away when you cannot see actually which LED is on or which one is off you cannot determine the state of charge easily but this way I mean it's pretty dim but yeah you can change this later on with some more bright LEDs but this is this version right now and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching